Welcome back to Food from Central. Yes, I'm still wiring. This is something that's going to take quite some time to do. So I'm not going to bore you with the details of how I'm wiring at the moment. But what I am going to do is I'm going to show you a new project that I'm doing here on Furniture Central. And that's a turntable, which is going to sit over there by the window. Um, it's also something that needs to be done um, before I do the next section. So, while I'm doing the wiring, you sit back and enjoy part one of the turntable build. Enjoy. Yep, I think I've gone mad, but I need to build a turntable. So I think the first order of business is let's start taking this apart and then see where we go from there. And I've got a little helper as well. Hello, Smudge. Okay, so I want to retain the connections here so I can still get power to the track. But my idea now is to try and slow it down even more. Is I've added a cog to the back. So if I take you back over here, and I've added a cog to the motor there. Now the idea now is, is to attach both pieces like that and then we'll give it another whirl and see, see if that does the trick. I hope so.
Okay, so the problem I've got here now is is the uh, the base here in the centre is moving, and there's quite an awful lot of flex in the, uh, the centre of this turntable. Although I've got the motor speed now right, um, I still don't like the fact that it's turning ever so slightly and then what's happening then is, is the cog underneath here is either then riding over the top of this cog or underneath it. Um, so I think the next stage now I think is to do something a little bit more radical and I'm going to have a ponder over it first to begin with just to see to make make absolutely sure I've got this right first because the last thing I want to do is ruin this completely but I want to keep this center section here so that I can get the polarity change on the uh, on the track but my initial thoughts are is to cut this center section out completely so I'm just keeping the center section here and then with the turntable I was thinking of cutting because I've got the connections because I've got the connections here um, I'm thinking of cutting it there and here as well um, so I'm just retaining the center section then with the Dapol kit that I bought recently, I'm thinking of doing it so that the Dapol kit sits like that. I've temporarily glued one section together just to see what it looks like. But the initial idea is to do that and then make an entire new base for the turntable so that it is angled upwards like this to follow the profile of that. So where I've got these bits here, which the uh, the wheels for the track run on, I was thinking of setting in here like that. And then where I've got the original ring here, I'm thinking of ditching that all together and using an actual piece of track. Um, and the ring will be larger as well. So that's my initial thoughts at the moment. I'll get back to you when um, when I've thought this out properly.
using the bloody microwave out of our kitchen.